Let's do a small speed comparison test between the OnePlus Nord against the Xperia 10 Mark II, both mid-range devices. Uh, the OnePlus is a bit, OnePlus is a bit uh, more expensive than the Xperia 10 Mark II, but mostly in the same price range. So we start by uh, trying out the fingerprint readers and see what the difference is here. We have an in-display in fingerprint reader and we have a side-mounted fingerprint reader here. And the in-display display one only works if the display is on. If I press here now, nothing happens, so I have it have to have it on. One, two, three. This time it didn't work on the OnePlus. Let's try it again. One, two, three. And you can see the OnePlus Nord was a tiny bit quicker. And this is the overall notion that I get. It is quicker in unlocking um, the phone. Though I think both vibrate at the same time, but the display turn on time is a lot quicker on the OnePlus Nord. Yeah. So the OnePlus Nord is a bit quicker when it comes to unlocking the device. Let's go to the uh, home page and let's check out some applications that we want to start. First we want to start the free and open source um, F-Droid store 123 and you can see the OnePlus Nord quite a bit faster than the Xperia 10 Mark II so I think the Xperia 10 Mark II was um, loading the icons from the web which uh, took it a bit longer. Then the next thing is the Play Store, one, two, three. And here, oh, on par, I would say, slightly bit edge on the OnePlus Nord. Very, very slightly only. Now some other applications in the system category, like AIDA64, one, two, three. And you can see a lot faster on the OnePlus Nord in this case. Another application like Speed Test, one, two, three. And you can see it takes a bit longer to load on both devices, but this device, the OnePlus Nord on the left, is faster. And then we have another application that we can start, a GPS test, one, two, three. And quicker on the OnePlus Nord. And it seems that the Xperia 10 has already one satellite, no fix on both. Do they get any fix? Second satellite on the Xperia 10 Mark II. And it has a 3D fix. As you can see here, even in this uh, very harsh conditions, I'm inside indoors, inside of a big building, it is getting a 3D fix on the Xperia 10 Mark II. And as you can see here, even the accuracy is going down, the meters are going down, and we have now a 3D fix on the OnePlus Nord. No free. Ah, ah, there it is. Only with one now, now it has a second one, GPS server, and we can see the GPS is stronger on the Xperia 10 Mark II, as you can see here, it gets the fix a bit quicker when it comes to the GPS test, but both we are fairly the same in terms of accuracy, uh, I would say 20 meters going down here as well, here it's 13, so it is uh, what it is, but you can see, oh, now you can see Xperia a bit worse, but the, in general the notion is that the Xperia 10 Mark II even in harder, harsher conditions can get a fix quicker than the OnePlus Nord. And this is also my personal experience uh, testing out both of these phones. Uh, let's try out starting YouTube next. Oops, uh, let's close it here again. Uh, one, uh, two, three. And you can see quicker on the OnePlus Nord again. No surprise, Snapdragon 6, uh, 765, Snapdragon 665 on the Xperia 10 Mark II. So there should be a difference. This is basically the flagship mid-range chip. And this is basically the entry level um, mid-range chip. So it should be, or the middle of the mid-range chips. Uh, because there are, I think, uh, also some... Uh, yeah, not so fast chips available um, as well. So let's try out another application. Let's try out the browser Chrome one two three, and a quite a bit quicker on the uh, OnePlus Nord. Xperia is um, 
catching up a bit it's not so far behind this shows also that the Xperia has great optimization in terms of software but also Android in general is also running very well on Snapdragon 665 here and everyday usage you won't notice much of a difference if you have them side by side you will notice the difference and you can uh, write me in the comments if you see also an animation difference this is running 90 Hertz this is running 60 Hertz of course this recording is done in 30 frames per second uh, but I have to say uh, you can notice the fluidity of the OnePlus Nord um, when comparing but when using the phones the 90 Hertz or 60 Hertz there's not much of it if it would be the same phone that I can change to 60 Hertz and 90 Hertz then I then I notice the difference but in terms of uh, running fluidly both of them run pretty fast and fluid so there's uh, not much of a difference in terms of fluidity of both devices and uh, for everyday usage there is no big issue when it comes to this so we want to go in and do a little bit more by opening up kinemaster a video editor for android which allows us to edit some videos and we want to do some video editing and uh, rendering the video out to see which of those both devices is quicker because video editing and uh, photo processing those are the tasks where you can see the difference between a snapdragon 665 versus a 765 processor uh, in everyday usage if you do such things on your phone so first of all let's start kinemaster one two three and you can see ooh, the Xperia was a bit quicker loading up and here it is loading some ads still I think can I go back now it is loading as well but uh, you can see it is a bit slower on the OnePlus Nord which is interesting I was not expecting this let's try to close those apps and try it again that would be interesting if this is really the case uh, one two three and you can see neck to neck and here it is yeah, loading an ad here now as well as you can see now the oneplus node was a bit quicker than the xperia 10 mark ii so um, yeah, in general not much of a difference you can see some lags here when i close the app so it is uh, clearly an indicator for the slower processor and we want to I will add a project here to my OnePlus Nord and to my Xperia 10 Mark II and we want to export it and then see which of those uh, two is quicker in exporting the same video clip so now you can see when I started editing or I wanted to import the video both devices are telling me that they don't support uh, UHD video so I have to make a, a 1080p copy of the video and I will do it here on both uh, to import it and we can see uh, which one is uh, quicker and uh, you can see already that the OnePlus Nord is a bit quicker than the uh, Xperia 10 Mark II when it comes to converting the 4K video clip to 1080p. I'm not sure if this is a limitation of both devices and the chipsets or it's a limitation of the free version of KineMaster. You can write it in the comment sections if you know it for sure. But here you can see it's twice as fast on the OnePlus Nord when it comes to converting videos and I would say exporting the video will be the same but let me edit this video uh, in a minute both videos and then I will do the export and we can see if this is really the case so now those converted 1080p videos are edited I just added a text layer uh, which looks like this uh, test here and test here with a small t uh, that's the only difference uh, and we want to export those videos now on the export option here and we don't have um, 4k UHD so I guess it's a KineMaster limitation so we will export in uh, what we don't have full HD support no we have to have KineMaster Pro okay we will then export in uh, HD 720p who is doing 720p videos still uh, and do the export then anyway we leave the default rate which is like uh, the bitrate is 3.78 megabits per second and I just click on export one two three 
and then we will see which one is faster already you can see the oneplus nord is taking the lead here and is uh, clearly double as fast as the uh, xperia 10 mark ii already in terms of progress bar and i think it will be the clear winner when it comes to rendering the video and yeah it's almost finished now it's finished and it's passed just the uh, half of the rendering on the xperia 10 mark ii and yeah now the xperia 10 mark ii is catching up slowly but it is yeah as you can see here the OnePlus Nord is basically, in terms of rendering video, a lot faster, a lot quicker when it comes to this. And uh, yeah, this is uh, basically the conclusion. If you want to do video editing, heavy processing, the OnePlus Nord has the better processor and uh, you should use this one then instead of uh, the Xperia 10 Mark II. If you just want or you like the smaller form factor, you like the display, then the Xperia 10 Mark II can definitely also score with uh, this and in yeah, terms of battery life uh, also I think they are very similar uh, when it comes to this but I will do some other tests uh, when it comes to this so this is my little speed comparison test between the Xperia 10 Mark II and the OnePlus Nord hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and until the next time see you